Conleth, obviously Mickey Moran is the manager of the year and you were part of that management team, but a very special award for Mickey and I know that you're accepting it on his behalf. Yeah, look, a very special <laughs> award for Mickey and look, this is so far in Mickey's comfort zone, it's unreal. Um, it's the sort of thing he doesn't want, he doesn't attract the attention and but I think it's very, very well deserved. Um, like on behalf of myself and Richie Thornton, um, look, we're delighted to be here on, on Mickey's behalf because uh, look, you only have to look at the adulation that he's had over the last few years to realise just in the esteem in which he's held in, in all the teams he's been in, just not Kilku, but if you go back through Mio, Leitrim, Sligo, Slock Neil, no matter where he's been, just people love him. And how much of an influence did he have on that Kilku team? Bringing them from, you know, a team that had won Ulster but maybe just couldn't make that breakthrough at All-Ireland level. Look, I think um, Kilku had been sort of knocking on the door for a wee while and I suppose when they really wanted Mickey, it was a case of they felt that he was the man that was going to get them over the line. And look, that proved to be the case. They believed in him, he believed in them. And look, it was just a, a recipe for, for just something really, really special. And I think it's just when you look at what Mickey brings to anywhere he goes, it's just that passion and enthusiasm. And he's just so ordinary and that people love him wherever he is. And for the Kilku team to win that All-Ireland, what have the past few weeks been like for the players and then yourselves, obviously, as, as managers? Look, it's been a very surreal time. I suppose the players have toiled so long to maybe win an Ulster and then it didn't come and, and then they got over the line in Ulster. Then with the COVID year where nothing happened and then to get back to a final and to win it after the experience in Cora Finn was just, it was just something special because... You don't know when you lost a first final whether they'll ever get back and you always hope and you dream that maybe it can come again. Do you really believe it'll come again? You just don't know and when it did come like that, it just was just something special. And yes, we'd love to have won it in normal time, playing the sort of football we played through Ulster in the semi final, but it didn't go like that. They had to dig into the reserves and the fact that it was a Roy the Rovers last kick of the game, it just imposes everything that there is about this skill coup team, just the never day attitude. What was going through your head, and I suppose through Mickey's head and, and Richie's as well, as the clock was ticking down and you were still behind and waiting for maybe that wee breakthrough, that score that was going to win it for you and eventually it came, obviously? Yeah, look, once we got the extra time, we, we felt when we were in extra time we were in a really good place because we'd been there twice and won, so we thought we kind of knew what it was about. I suppose once it got to the stage where we went a point of an extra time, then we went two down and you're starting to think... It's just getting ominous. But look, the one thing that these boys have is just... And the one thing Mickey stills in them is that you play to the end, you keep playing the same way, you don't pump long ball, hopeful ball in. You play and you do what you're good at. And they did that. And to be fair, while the goal was pretty much into the last minute of the game, the quality of it, it was a, a good kick pass, a good run, another good kick pass across. Ryan Johnson had the goal blocked down. But Jerome, as always, was there just to come up with the goods. And the fact that it was him scored the goal, and the fact that he'd scored so many really important goals all year, just sort of epitomises what the year was about. Now, hard act to follow in 2022 for yourself and Richie. Yeah, look, it's an impossible act to follow. Um, you can't fill Mickey's boots. You can't be Mickey. You know, he is a one-off. The fact that he's been you know, one of the few managers that managed five county diff different county teams. So, look, we just are going to try and keep doing what Mickey has brought to the table and trying to add a wee bit and look the bottom line is it's going to be difficult of course but look there's a really good group of players there really ambitious group of players there and look the challenge is can we do it again and look nobody knows the answer but like we will give it the best we can that's for sure